Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk about delegate protocol pattern in Swift. Uh, first of all, the question is why we use delegate? We use delegate if we want to communicate between two controller objects. Like here, I created home controller and settings controller. What I want to do in the project that I want to change language of home controller from this settings controller. In this way, I am communicating from settings controller to the home controller object. So let's see the demo so you can easily understand the concept what we are going to do in this video. Here I have our home controller and from home controller, let's go to the settings controller. If I press French, you can see uh, that text is changed to French. Similarly, if I press the English, the text is changed back to English. So in this way, I'm communicating from settings controller back to the home controller. So this is the user delegate. So let's start the project now. I have put some views on both controllers, but I didn't create any outlet yet. I have home controller class and settings controller class. In home controller, I have created two arrays for testing purpose. Uh, where I put where I put English value at first index and French value at second index. This is just for testing purpose and it is not a proper way to localize the project. So let's create the outlets. Uh, I'm going to main storyboard and here I will select the home controller. After selecting I, I will open the assistant. And here we have our home controller class. In home controller class, I am going to create outlet for this uh, heading label and for this content text view. Simply select the heading label, and by pressing and by pressing control key and holding it, drag and drop to the home controller class. I am going to name it as heading label. Similarly, let's create outlet for the text view and let's name it as content text view. Now we have outlets for heading and content. Let's create action for this settings button. By selecting settings button, I will drag and drop under the view reload function and we will get an action. First change its style to UA button and I will provide its name as settings button tapped. After creating outlets for home controller, let's create for settings controller as well and by pressing control key and holding it. I will drag and drop under the view to load function. So change its type and provide any name for the function, which is English button tapped. Create for the French as well. French button tapped. Don't forget to change the type as well. Our next task is to present the settings controller for home controller. In order to do that, we have to provide a storyboard ID for this controller. Let's select the controller and go to this right pane and from the identity inspector, just write storyboard ID in this box. Let's name it as settings. Now we can use this storyboard ID to get instance of this controller. So let's hide this assistant and go to the home controller. Here we have our settings button action. So let's uh, present our settings controller on press of settings button. 
First, we need to create an instance of settings controller. We can get it from using US story port with parameters name bundle. Name will be main. As our storyboard name is main and bundle will be nil. We have to use a function dot instantiate view controller with identifier. And here we have to provide the ID which is settings. Now let's type cast it as settings controller. Then we can present this controller as a model. Uh, let's present it. First parameter is the controller, second is the animation, so let's give it, so let's give its value as true and completion will be nil. Let's uh, hit the play button and check its output. Here we have our home controller and we have set our code. To present the settings controller if I press the settings we can see the model for settings controller uh, but it is not covering full screen we can do this using the property of controller dot model presentation style equal to dot full screen let's play it again and now it is covering full screen now we can start our work to change the language of home controller. Uh, in order to do this, we have to create a protocol for delegate. First of all, we need to create a protocol. You can create protocol in any file and also you can create a separate file for protocol. But I'm going to create protocol in settings controller. In order to create a protocol, we use a keyword protocol. And we also have to provide a name like language change delegate. In a protocol, we only have signatures of functions and we have no implementation for these functions like func change language. Because in my case, I want to change language of home controller. Uh, so let's put these controllers side by side so we can easily see the comparison i want to change language from english to french or french to english and i have put these texts in arrays so if i pass zero i can change language to english and if i pass one uh, i can change to french so i need a parameter of type int and by passing this index, I can change easily English to French or French to English. Now, in order to call this function from this settings controller, I need a variable of type this language in delegate. Or delegate. You can give any name, uh, but I'm going to name it as delegate, and this will be language change delegate, and it will be optional. Uh, we can call this function now first we will check if it is not nil if let delegate if it is not nil we can call this function change language we will use the delegate variable dot change language function uh, for english i have to pass zero index similarly for french i have to pass one after setting language i want to dismiss the settings controller i can use the self dot dismiss function animated will be true and completion will be nil copy and paste this line to french function as well if i run the project now you will see that we are not getting the result we want because we created a protocol 
and we also created a variable for this protocol to call this function but where is the implementation of this function we have to provide implementation of this function uh, to provide implementation of this function some controller has to become its delegate uh, so this home controller will become its delegate we have to implement this protocol language change delegate once home controller implements the language change delegate it has to provide implementation of this function so you can see this error by simply pressing on it you can fix the error and here you have the function copy and paste it under the settings button and here we can provide its implementation what we want to do we want to change language of heading label and content text view so i will simply change heading label dot text equal to heading array and i will set its value according to index similarly we can change text of content text view to content array according to the index after implementing the language change delegate and providing its implementation if we run the project and try to change language we will not be able to change because our delegate is still nil and we have to provide some value for this delegate variable this language change delegate type is nothing by itself we have to provide some other controllers object and this delegate will have a value of type home controller if it implements the language change delegate so while presenting the controller we have to set controller dot delegate is equal to self now our protocol work is done and we can run our project to change the language if i press french now you can see our language is changing properly this is the way the first step is to create the first step is to create a protocol which provides only signature of a function which we want to call on press of english or french button and we have to implement this protocol in any controller so we can go back to that controller and make changes in that controller home controller becomes its delegate once it implements the protocol it has to provide implementation of change language function so we provided implementation and also uh, we have to tell that delegate is home controller this self means we are providing reference of the home controller object this delegate is now reference of home controller so by using that reference we are calling this function and by calling this function we are making changes of heading label and content text view at the end we are getting a reference of home controller to make all these changes so can we not do it directly yes we can do the same thing with direct reference of home controller so let's remove the code for delegate first let's remove the protocol and its variable calls and variable and its implementation at home controller but this function is useful for making change in home controller i will keep this function now i want to do the same thing with direct reference of home controller so for this purpose i have to create a variable of type home controller while home controller of type home controller and it will be optional we need to provide its value while presenting the settings controller 
so here I will provide its value controller dot home controller this variable is equal to self by this self we get a reference of home controller object now as we have a reference we can call its functions that are accessible from outside uh, so I can call this function now directly with this home controller variable first I will check whether it's, it is nil or not if let home controller if it is not nil I will call the home controller dot change language function for English it will be zero and for French it will be one so by simply using the home controller reference I can change language from English to French or French to English so let's run and test the project now in settings I set language to French and as you can see the language is changed to French and similarly to English so we are achieving same goal with direct reference of home controller first we use the protocol to do the same thing and then I show you how to do the same thing with using reference of home controller I hope this video will be helpful for you to understand, uh, to understand the concept of protocols and delegate and also how to get the same goal with direct reference of controller